Hmm. A tarnished here. Thou must have some business in mind to come all this way. Though I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this encounter. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer. But I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior. By the name of Blythe, I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I resign. Come and pay me, should you. If it were. Hmm. Ah. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you've forgotten. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Iji. The Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani.
Let us give together for Lady Rani. me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon, and it will be, I have high look for Took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I have no time for that. The only thing are we, and I have enough of. Ah, 
clean. is it? Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Encher got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Encher is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Well then, may the Golden Order... Ah. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Oh. Greeting, are you here for... Stay out your arm.
would you like now? You are so very warm. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed. And the ancient plot, in which the first of the demigods was slain, the black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the Black Knife Prints that fascinate dear Roger so. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hold. Perhaps you could make use of it? Would you like now? Come. You are so. Dear Roger, the ancient, the black, no. along with thee. Dear the ancient, the black, no. along with thee. Then. Please, would you like the blessing? Would you like now? You are so very warm. Dear Roger, the ancient, the black, no. along with the... Then good...
Anyway. 